for our 17th annual Pray Here for the Tigers service. Uh, the first oh, five years or so when we did this, people mocked us. They said, the Tigers keep losing. Uh, your prayers don't seem to be working. And I said, well, you know, it took 40 years for the Israelites to make it through the desert, right, yeah. to get to the promised land. So we just keep praying. God will sort it all out. Um, and it's because it's what we do as neighbors, right? We love our neighbors as ourselves. And one of the ways we show our love for our neighbors is to pray for them. So let us sing the first verse of the opening hymn. We gather together to ask the Lord's blessing. He chastens and hastens his will to make known the wicked oppressing. Now cease from distressing. Sing praises to his name. He forgets not his own. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Direct us, O Lord, in all our doings by thy most gracious favor. And further us with your continual help, that as we gather to seek your blessing on the Detroit Tigers and their upcoming season, we may do all things to glorify thy holy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our first lesson is written in the letter of Blessed Paul the Apostle to the Philippians, the fourth chapter, beginning at the fourth verse. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Here endeth the lesson. Let us sing together, come labor on. We'll just go ahead and sing the first verse. Come labor on, who dare stand idle on the harvest plain, while all around him waves the golden grain, and to each servant does the master say, Our second lesson is written in St. Matthew's Gospel, the sixth chapter, beginning at the 25th verse. Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for the body what she shall put on. Not the, is the life more than meat, or the body more than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, they sow not. Neither do they reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you by taking thought can add one cubit to his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon, in all his glory, was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, so God has clothed the grass of the field, 
which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought of the things itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Here endeth the lesson. All right, let's sing uh, one verse of God the Omnipotent. God the Omnipotent, King who ordaineth thunder thy clarion and lightning thy sword. Show forth thy pity on thy where thou reignest. Give to us peace in our time, O Lord. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord for his blessing on the Tigers and their 2017 season, responding, Lord, hear our prayer. For the players, that God, that God may grant them the grace to use the gifts that he's given them to the best of their ability, that they may work together for their common good, be wholesome public examples, and be protected from injury. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the manager, for his staff, that they may be guided by the wisdom of the Holy Spirit and may make the right decisions to lead this team let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the owner's family, for the reposeless soul of Michael Illich, and the whole rest of the family, that they may continue to be blessed by thy good providence and be content with the Tigers on and off the field. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the support staff, from vendor to front office, <coughs> that they may perform their task diligently and be blessed by their good work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the fans, that they may be refreshed and renewed in their enjoyment of this national pastime, and may praise you for all that is good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Finally, we pray for victories, that it be, it be gracious will, O Heavenly Father, that you may allow for many of them. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for bringing us together for the common purpose of praying for the Tigers and their 2011 or 2017 season. We thank you for the athletes and their dedication to the game, for the manager and their leadership, for all those who work and for those who come in support of this game. We ask now that you would send your heavenly benediction upon the Detroit Tigers as they begin their new season. And we pray that it may be your most gracious will to grant them success. All this we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. Our final hymn, we're going to sing all four verses because I like it. <laughs> oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come. Our shelter from the stormy blast And our eternal home Under the shadow of thy throne Thy saints have dwelt secure Sufficient is thine arm alone And our defense is sure 
before the hills in order stood, or earth received her frame. From everlasting thou art God, to endless years the same. O God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come. Be thou our guide while life shall last, and our eternal home. Now we can't start the season off without a good rousing verse of Take Me Out to the Ball Game. <laughs> Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowds. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. I don't care if I ever get back. Well, it's root, root, root for the Tigers. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Go Tigers! Go Tigers! Go Tigers. Right, go Tigers. Thank you all.